Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. We're going to discuss a quick tutorial on the latest calculator from our finalexamcalculator.com website. And this video is going to be basically a fail safe GPA calculator or grade point average calculator. And you can go to finalexamcalculator.com slash GPA to use it. So I have it uh, right here. So if you were to go there, basically, uh, this is the main website. Just click GPA calculator slash GPA, type the URL. And uh, first of all, before I get to this ca calculator, I'm going to go over a tutorial on it and also uh, just a quick calculation proof of what it does. But first, if you don't know what GPA or grade point average is, I did an earlier video, a math easy video on it, so make sure to watch this. It's also going to be in the video link below. Well, so watch this in if you are not sure what grade point average is. So basically, in, in this one here, all you got to do is uh, you just input either letter grade or percent. So if you click letter grade, you're, you're going to have this. A drop down list for each course and also the weight of each course and then it will basically give you uh, the GPA based on this scale right here so this is the one we click it here this is a 4.3 scale so 4.3 it's worth uh, well not if you get 90 to 100 that's worth 4.33 and that's also an A plus what it's worth and then if you go all the way down to zero that's for anything below 50 percent and it's a fail or an F and it, so this is the one the calculator uses and is mo used in a lot of universities and colleges but if you're just different just comment below on this video and we will basically uh, go go add that calculator I'm gonna add that scale in this calculator as well so basically let's get started here let's say you had um, yeah let's say you had three courses and this one you got first 95 percent it's worth three credits so automatically it gives you the grade point average of 4.33 so it's an it calculates automatically so now let's do the next one we had uh, let's say 82 and this is worth five credits so we get 3.92 and one more let's say we got 74 and that is six credits so we get a 3.52 right here and from this uh, calculator, 95 is worth an A+, plus, which is 4.33. A82 is worth an A-, minus, and then the last one is 74 is a B. So you could, so you should get the same answer for if you put it another way. So 3.52. Letter grade, if we had an A+, plus, A-, minus, and B, so we should get 3.52. So that's uh, the same thing as the calculation we had for percent. And you can switch between them. and yeah, so basically, uh, I'm going to go over a uh, basic quick calculation proof of this to show you what it does. And so right here, I have uh, copied and pasted the scale we're using in this Word doc here uh, for the calculator. So the scale I'm using the calculator, and also the, our, our result right here. So we had the three courses. We got 95, 82, 74. And now I'm going to go over the calculation on solving it. Well, first, I've made this table here. Uh, basically, I have the courses here. I, I just copy and I just wrote these down: 95, 82, 74, and the credits 3, 5, 6. And now this GPA per credit, or this could be the GPA for yeah each credit. This is just what is this course? What is the GPA of this uh, of the credits for this course? And we just look at the 95 in the scale, like I showed in my earlier video. It's going to be basically 4.33. It's a 4.33, and then for the 82, we get a 3.67, and the B, we get 74, which is a 3. So we have these three we're using. So this would be 4.33. This is going to be a 3.67, and the last one's going to be a 3.00. And the grade points earned, yeah, these ones are the grade points earned. This is basically because this is per credit, so we have to multiply by credits. The total grade points we get would just be uh, 4.33 times it by uh, 3 right here, and this equals 2. Yeah, we get 12.99, and also if you multiply 3.67 by 5, we get 18.35. The last one, 3 credits uh, times this, I mean, 3, three GPA per credit uh, times by 6, we basically get 18. So now the next step to do is basically find a total of this. And this would just equal to, yeah, this total right here would just equal to 49.34. So this is the total uh, grade points we earned, GPE, or we could write that in our GPA, uh, the overall GPA, like I showed by definition in my earlier video, that is basically going to be our GPE divided by our total credits. And in this case, total credits is this one right here. 
total equals basically there's three, five, six. So three plus five is eight plus six is 14. So then the calculation that the calculator does would be this total sum 49.34 divided by this 14 right here. And this would equal to, if you plug into the calculator or just in any calculator, you get 3.52. Yeah, and to double check, I put that in a Google uh, calculator right here, 49.34, just divided by 14, we get 3.524, but we just round it down, so 3.52 right here. So this is just a proof that the calculator is working properly. Yeah, and once again, uh, if you use percent or letter grade, you'll get the same thing as long, yeah, so be the same thing if your, uh, your percents are within the letter grade range. Well, anyways, that is all for today. Hopefully you'll learn from this quick tutorial video, and yeah, try out the calculator out for yourself, and you can also download this these exact notes in the Dropbox link below. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.